Umberto, come va? Come stai? Benissimo, grazie. Te? Thank you for having us at this wonderful showroom. It's, It's beautiful. So I hear that you have reason to celebrate. We heard Maserati announce a 24% sales increase in 2013. Why do you think that is? Indeed, it's 24.5%. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> in the Middle East, with an outstanding performance of uh, UAE of 44% increase over uh, in 2013 over 2012. Um, I think this, the, 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 the success is a combination of several factors. Um, first of all, the product, which is of course uh, a completely new lineup that we launched in, uh, in 2013. Okay. Uh, we started the year with uh, the sixth generation of our flagship uh, sedan car, which is the new Quattroforte, okay. which hit the market in the, in the Middle East last uh, May, roughly. And from May to uh, January, uh, from December, so sorry, it, it was uh, able to uh, gain over 50% of our sales. Finish the year with the unveil newest product, which is the new Ghibli, which is the uh, last that we unveil in the uh, Dubai Motor Show. Since then, we start taking order. The first units we go on the road next week, roughly. but we have a very good uh, customer interest uh, order portfolio. So, definitely, 2014 is going to be even brighter on. Uh, 2013. And we've heard that by 2015 you're planning to sell 50,000 cars. That's a really ambitious plan. What's your strategy? Top management declared this target uh, already a couple of years back. Okay. And since then we have worked uh, hard to prepare this, uh, this target. We are on track. Uh, we are on track because 2013 uh, at global level already marked uh, a respectable 158% increase of car ship during the year, which makes Maserati the fastest growing uh, automotive uh, manufacturer ever. Being a small niche manufacturer producing around 6,000 units per year, okay. and in three years' time, we will reach 50,000 units. Um, this is what uh, we will do with the investment, with new factories. So we have prepared to do this, and I have to do a double check, I'll let you know, but I'm pretty much sure no one did it. Before. Okay, that's good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> so can um, we say you're beyond the, the halfway mark for your goal? We are beyond the halfway mark for our goal. We are on track. Uh, if everything goes as planned, and I don't see why it shouldn't, uh, we will have a brilliant 2014 and 2015 definitely will be where we have to be. It sounds like you're going to surpass your goal in 2015. It sounds like it's going to be challenging, <laughs> uh, but we are confident. Which brings us to the Ghibli. We heard it's a new model, as you said. Is it part of the strategy for the 50,000 car mark? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Definitely. Ghibli is uh, one of the, uh, our three, four pillars uh, in our strategy. And that again started with the consolidation of the existing product range with Gran Turismo and Gran Cabrio. Okay. And we launched the new flagship sedan, the Quattroporte. Then we introduced this model, which is a completely new line in our portfolio and uh, it will be followed by the, uh, our SUV in the, next, uh, in the next year. And you mentioned the price. What is the price range for the Ghibli and who are you trying to target with it? Uh, the, our Ghibli will start at Middle East price. Uh, it's going to be common, you will find, uh, and is, uh, it will start at, uh, from $77,000, mm -hmm. uh, which in Giras is 285,000 dirhams. Okay, let's be easier. Uh, we've talked about 285,000 dirhams for the Ghibli, yeah. which is uh, the, uh, with the 330 horsepower engine, mm -hmm. and we move up to 325,000 dirhams for the Ghibli S, which is the car with 410 horsepower and high resolution. And when I think of models that can equate with the Ghibli, I think of the BMW 5 Series or the E-Class. Does that make sense or do you put it in a completely different class? We call it E-Class, uh, which goes uh, definitely in CLS. Okay. 640 Grand Coupe, Audi A7. This is uh, the main, main and the core part of the competitive field. Okay. However, we look also at the E, proper E segment, which is E-Class Mercedes, of course only the high-level engine, same for 5 Series, same for uh, Audi 6, uh, Jaguar, of course, in, in that kind of, uh, of segment. Uh, of course, we take that model as reference market and, of course, as benchmark, 
Yeah. Uh, although our main, main uh, competitive stream is uh, the e -class. And my favorite question of all, and the hardest. Which one is your favorite? Uh, and it's always difficult. <laughs> it's always difficult. It's always difficult because uh, in Maserati, although we have uh, a small uh, lineup of products, uh, we have a car for each and every uh, mood for each and every day, for each and every occasion. Okay. So uh, it depends. What so you nine times do. out of ten, what mood are you in? <laughs> um, but the Quattroporte, definitely. I'm driving a Quattroporte. is uh, is the car that better uh, suits me because it's the most powerful one with 530 horsepower. I like driving. I like the speed. Although when I can, every time I can, I drive uh, the Gran Turismo, mm -hmm. which I love it. Gran Cabrio is uh, is uh, for the for these weather weekends is amazing, and uh, Ghibli uh, when I can because it's very difficult so far to get one Ghibli, <laughs> uh, but when I can put behind the wheel of a Ghibli, it's uh, it's a nice feeling. Basically, you like them all. <laughs> They're all your favorite. I like favorite them all though. again. You ask me which I drive mainly. <laughs> yes, uh, I like them all, but uh, and I don't want to go in details on every single model. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, so, Umberto, for having thank us. Thank you. Thank you.